Hello there, it's uh, Android TV Boxes here. One of the questions we do get asked um, quite a lot is, what if I've downloaded my own content already? What if I have a hard drive on my network, or I have a laptop um, with a load of torrents that I've downloaded? Now obviously, uh, you know, it, you want to watch that, and you want to watch that on the TV. So instead of having to put it onto a USB key and plug it into the back of your TV, um, or take your hard drive and plug that into the back of the TV or run a HDMI cable from your um, laptop or burn it onto a DVD, you know, burning media, who does that these days? What you can do with XBMC and the Android TV box system is you can display any content that you've already downloaded. And the best thing as well is you can actually catalogue that information. So when you do tell the XBMC system to look at it, what it will actually do is it will actually work out all of the uh, uh, the content that's installed in the folder, um, generate all of the folder um, information such as you know what quality of film. It will also obviously display the uh, DVD cover of the film, what score it got on IMDb, what the information is about the film in terms of what the plot is, etc. There's loads of information. So. I've got here in my environment, I have a uh, remote hard drive on my network plugged into my Skyhub using Ethernet. It's a Buffalo uh, Live 1 terabyte. Um, I have a folder shared on there called Torrents. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the Samba file sharing um, protocol to browse onto that um, hard drive, add the content, tell it what content it is, and then wait a few moments and it will catalog it for us. So what we need to do is inside the ribbon we need to go to videos, go to files, add videos, we're going to browse, Windows Network, now I already have this added as a, a network drive just so that I can access it really quickly from my Windows machine. Yes this is a Windows machine, I'm recording the video for an Android TV box on a Windows machine why you ask well quite simply um, recording screen content or screen grab from an Android box is very very difficult I can point a, uh, a camera at the screen but in all honesty you're not going to get the clarity that you're getting right now so um, the good thing about our system and the way that we've designed it is that we can actually take the code that we've used and use it on a multitude of boxes so the Android environment itself is Android you've then got XBMC on top and inside the XVMC you have our install which has our customizations, our scripts, our plugins, um, all the information that we put together and we can install that on different boxes. So by the way, quick sales note, if you do have XVMC and you wish to use our plugins, our working plugins and have our environment, you can buy our installation. Um, add us on Facebook slash Android TV Boxes B O X E S. Um, drop us a message, say you'd like to buy it one of the admins will sort you out and uh, you know you can uh, install our working application system and have your own XBMC installation. So uh, we're going to go back to the uh, add in the content so we're going to go to Windows Network Data Drive which is the the network name for my device I'm going to go to Torrents BitTorrent which is the folder now here you'll see there's a load of stuff um, yes there was a Photoshop. <coughs> you didn't see that. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select OK. As you can see, it's added the the path. It's added a name based on the folder structure. I'm just going to change that to be Movies. OK. Now what it's going to ask me is what content is it? What content do you have? So I'm going to select. movies. I'm going to tell it that movies are in separate folders and I'm just going to go OK. I do want to refresh all the information. It's now scanning. Now in the top right hand corner here you'll see that the environment is actually scanning um, that folder structure to see what I've got in inside the system. Collect that information together and form it as a library. Let's see if it's picked it up yet. It hasn't picked all of it up yet. 
Yes, I have the Twilight Saga. My wife likes Twilight. I have to have it. Guys, come on, back me up here, right? Women, Twilight, vampires, sparkly things. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're just going to wait for that to uh, to render. As you can see now, we've now got a new icon appear at the top. So, it's picked up that Twilight is there. And it's displayed me a really nice background for it. Um, when I say really nice background, I don't mean that I really fancy Robert Patterson or that dude on the left. What's his name? Um, I can't remember. Um, but it's there. It's it's a high quality image. Um, it looks pretty decent in terms of uh, showing people what you can watch. I mean, it will display a number of films along the top here. You can see it's still going through the, uh, the scanning and it's it's cataloging them one by one. Um, I have some good films in there. I have some really bad films. Okay, uh, as you can see, the the system is now um, adding extra menus um, or adding extra items um, to the top. These are the last five films that it cataloged. Um, not necessarily uh, in order of uh, name. They are literally, I think. It's the last five films that I downloaded um, that the system picked up. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's right. I do remember downloading Carrie last. Um, it is the new Carrie one with that Chloe girl from Kick-Ass. It's a really good film if you haven't seen it. So um, from the, the ribbon, um, you can do a number of things. Obviously, you can go and select, put your mouse over it, and you'll see a nice fan art image at the background and then you can obviously just select it and play. Um, I'm, I'm not going to play it properly simply because I'll get banned by uh, you know by YouTube. You can scroll across as well um, but what we'll do is we'll actually show you the movie system itself. So we go to videos, movies, you'll, you'll notice that this was just uh, add-ons and files. It's now expanded so if we go to movies and we put our mouse over we can start to see content um, changing based on you know what we're looking at now one of the things about XBMC and the way that it works is you can completely customize this environment so whilst that looks good I'm not seeing any information about the film so if I change the view and uh, we have a different set of uh, environment options here this is quite a good one so we're on fan art you can see here it's got the new tag against it and if I mouse over information changes it tells me what type of movie it is who was the director who wrote it how long it's on for, what its score was on IMDB, so After Earth got 5.3 not very good film really, it's a 1080p copy, so this is a Blu-ray film um, this is the sound the aspect ratio and you know what the classification is on the film um, based on UK classifications, now you can change classifications to be states um, just go into system and settings menu and you'll see the information in there Captain Phillips again all the information changes now what if I want to watch a trailer you know oh, I fancy watching Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs too but I'm not sure if I might enjoy it so what can I do well if you press the context menu which is on your Android remote control it's actually the menu item um, on the top right hand corner um, and you go to movie information this side art screen and menu appears and you can play the film you can see who the cast are. Terry Crews, fantastic guy. Um, you can refresh the information. You can read information about the plot. You can choose which particular picture you want to use when browsing the film. Um, so if we go back, you'll see now that the picture for Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs has actually changed from what I had it originally set. If I go back into the uh, movie information, I can watch a trailer. So we give it a few seconds, it will open a YouTube link and there's the trailer. And that trailer is pulled from YouTube. I didn't have to type anything in, it just found it for me. 
So as you can see, I've got a load of films added to my hard drive. There's a load of good films in there. There's a load of crap. This film is only good for that particular reason. Um, who wouldn't want to see um, Jennifer Aniston dancing around in her underwear? Um, by the way, guys, when that scene is on, pay very close attention. She's wearing two pairs of underwear. So anyway, that's uh, pretty much it. All I wanted to show you was adding your own content to uh, the devices. Now, one thing I will say, I also have TV shows as well. So um, we're going to add TV shows um, to the system. Now, you'll see here on the ribbon that I don't have a TV shows option. So how do I add this? Well, it's quite simple. Go to Videos, Files, Add Videos, again, Browse. I only have Game of Thrones. I don't like it. Um, I'm not a fan of Game of Thrones, I've got to be honest. Now everyone's probably going to go, oh my god, you're gay, or whatever. I'm not. The, the difficulty with Game of Thrones is that I'm going to sit there watching it, my wife's going to walk in, and that blonde bird is going to get shagged up the arse, or whatever it is, by the guy that was in Stargate Atlantis. I don't even know their names. Um, it's very difficult to watch that. Um, your wife will think something's going on. So we're just adding that show. We're con content scanning it now. It'll take a few moments. Um, once it's done, it'll become available um, as a as a watchable content. So there we go. That's how we do it. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments bar at the bottom. Add us on Facebook, slash Android TV Boxes, B-O-X-E-S. Or you can follow us on, on Twitter, ATB underscore XBMC. That's ATB underscore XBMC. Thanks a lot. See you soon.